Hello guys, thanks for watching my video. Today, let's see another application of Frulani Integer. Okay, and again, thank you so much for your support. So, today we like to solve this integral. Then is the integral from zero to infinity of sine of ax sine of bx upon x dx, which is nothing but half of log of a plus b by a minus b where a and b where a is greater than b and greater than zero okay okay let's do it so let our integral to be i is integral from zero to infinity sine of ax sine of bx upon x dx okay now we know that from trigonometry Two sin a, sin b is nothing but cos of a minus b minus cos a plus b. Okay, so applying this one here, sin of x, sin of b x is nothing but these two transfer on the right hand side. Then is half cos of a minus b x minus cos of a plus b x. Okay. Now putting that one here in our, in our integral, i is half of integral from zero to infinity cos of a minus bx minus cos of a plus bx upon x dx right now if you calculate this one cos of infinity is I think it is not defined right so that I mean this is infinity so I cannot put f of x to be this one cos x okay so in order to get what we want so we are going to see the Euler identity and it's e to the negative i axis cos x minus i sin x and this is cos right now if we take out after solving this if we extra out the real part then you will get this one right so applying that i is half of integral from zero to infinity e to the negative i a minus bx minus e to the negative i a plus bx okay upon x dx now this one uh, we have this one this integral i think we have already discussed it okay but let's solve it again here you can apply this one also now using frulani integral we have then this all Frulani integral is nothing but integral from 0 to infinity of f of ax minus f of bx upon x dx which is f of infinity minus f of 0 natural law of a over b okay now here f of x in this integral f of x is nothing but e to the negative x right and f of infinity is 0 right because e to the negative infinity is m s 1 over e to the infinity which is 1 over infinity which is 0 okay side note and f of 0 is 1 so e to the 0 is just 1 here a is going to be i of a minus b okay and b is i of a plus b okay so now applying that i is nothing but applying this half of f of infinity is 0 right minus 1 so half 0 minus 1 log of a by b so a is nothing but i of a minus b and b is i of a plus b now i i will get cancelled out right then you get mm, zero minus one is minus one right so minus half log of a minus b by a plus b so if you want to remove this negative so it will be half of natural log of a plus b by a minus b here applying this one log of x to the n is and log x okay property of log right therefore our integral what we want is integral from 0 to infinity sine of ax sine of bx upon x dx is half of log of a plus b by a minus b and here note that for this if you take the imaginary part then the integral will be 0 okay because here 
there is no imaginary part here we can see here right so that's why the imaginary part of this integral will be just zero and the real part is this okay so that's it